Dear Christian friends, welcome to Friendship Evangelism for Everyone. I'm Elder Prosper Tetedo from Ealing Christian Center, United Kingdom. But first, we're going to hear a testimony from Prosper, who is a very busy doctor. But he believes in the importance of each follower of Jesus spreading the gospel. He will also share how he is discovering easy means to spread the gospel with hundreds of people on a regular basis in a way we all can do also. And how he can reach people, not just locally, but in different parts of the world. I'm an elder of the Healing Christian Center. I'm also a practicing medical doctor, and I've been in ECC for over 14 years. I've been taking copies of the grapevine to my workplace, and the first time, a couple of years ago, I put it in the staff room, and within 24 hours, it was thrown into the bin. I didn't know who did it. So I prayed seriously about it and then replaced it. And God answered my prayer because that grapevine continued to remain there for the two month period until I renewed it. And that was a breakthrough. And not only that, the grapevine, I became a distributor among colleagues, doctors, some are nurses, some are occupational therapists. Some are cleaners, some are car park attendants. And this brings to mind what Jesus Christ even said in his word, that in Luke chapter 4, verse 18 to 19, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to heal the brokenhearted, and to preach even the acceptable year of the Lord. And so I've continued with that also to have some morning devotion podcasts, which as I speak, it started with a small group of friends. Now I send it to 233 people at least every morning. And one thing that has encouraged me is one of them, the brother said, he also sends it to a hundred people on his contact list. So to the glory of God, if we just take it that each person sends to, let's say, 10 people, that means 233 times 10, which is 2,330 people every day to the glory of God. And this is in fulfillment of the word of God, which says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, it says, what you have heard from me among many witnesses, pass it on to faithful men who will also pass it on. I have also continued to do uh, evangelism in the community together with the local lighthouse evangelism group of the Healing Christian Center. And also, on my own personal level, in the community, when I go to shopping centers, I evangelize to shop attendants and also shop assistants and cleaners. And also, when I'm traveling, even on flights, I witness to people. And through that, I've got people on such one opportunity I had, I had 19 days of travel in and out on holidays, and I had 19 souls. These are not figures, just statistics. They are real people that I communicate with every morning that I send podcasts to. And one instance, I was on the flight where there was a young boy sitting between me and the mom, and I engaged the young boy in conversation and the mom got interested. And before the plane landed, she has given me her contact details. And up to now, I haven't met her, but I do send the podcast to her every morning. And she replies to say thank you. And this is really what I thank God for. 
as the word of God says in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20, it says, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me, and go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations. And so it's to go and make disciples. So I thank God even for what he's doing. And I thank God that I'm also able to do this through the prayer ministry, uh, which I'm a member of, because evangelism and prayer go together. And we do have prayer sessions every day with the intercessors. And on weekends, we have what we call the prayer marathon, which is 24 hours of prayer, starting on Saturday 12 to Sunday 12. And this has been a real blessing, and even to encourage uh, our us even to continue even the, with evangelism for we know that yes converts is fine but it's not enough it's discipleship is important we need to nurture converts even to grow to be disciples so that they can also grow other people and I also have personally discipleship meetings with individuals on a personal basis also every week and that has really helped me to be able to bring up even disciples and we thank god even for what he's doing through these things there have been obstacles but the lord has provided the way and i'll give two examples just to encourage us one is in my workplace there's a whatsapp group and i've been asking the lord to give me a way how to witness and there was once where they were making fun of Christians, saying that Christians, they will mention celebrities who are Christians who were popular and say this one is fake. They are Christians, they are fake Christians, they are fake Christians. So I put the question, I asked the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit helped me to put a question there, which I asked, so who is a true Christian? And there was silence. And I answered that question using the four spiritual laws, which says God loves you. He has a wonderful plan for your life and all have sinned the wages of sin is death and all that i went and how to accept jesus christ and to become a christian so i did point out that yes if one has gone through these steps then one can say one is a christian so one is to be sure not to define people as fake unless we know they have gone through these steps so the holy spirit used it and later on one of them was commenting Oh, we thought this forum was just for, not for serious things, but anyway, the message has gone. And one instance also, I remember vividly, when I was on campus, we had, um, in secondary school, I had this fear of going out to witness. We were in pairs, and we had one hour, and I was praying. I don't know whether that prayer was answered. I was telling God that we shouldn't meet anybody on their way. And, uh, but later on when I went on to uni and I, I had a baptism in the Holy Spirit, I received that power as in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. It says, when the Holy Spirit comes on you, you will receive power and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, and Samaria to the uttermost part of the earth. And what experience I had was once we went out to witness on the university campus to another student. And we were in pairs. So I was speaking and the other one was praying. And when I looked on the face of the fellow student, I thought this is the last person to ever give his life to Christ because he was angry. You could see anger. And I was like, the earth should open so that I'll get through it and, or be raptured or something. But I continue to share in the power of the Holy Spirit and leave the result for Christ. And the result was opposite to what I could humanly think. Within weeks, not knowing the message has gone, the Holy Spirit has convicted him, he has become a Christian, and he joined the fellowship, and he was active in the prayer ministry, he joined the intercessors, and he was going for all night weekend that we had in the bush, something that even seasoned Christians were not even doing at the time. And before long, he actually went into full-time ministry. And this is an example of something that I can look back on and say that, yes, 
what God has done for me, he can also do with any Christian. So the secret of success in witnessing or evangelism is sharing Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit and leaving the results even for God. And I want to end by saying that the Lord Jesus has prepared a church for a time like this, not to be distracted by so many things going on around us, like COVID, pestilences, and the rest. He mentioned in Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, he said, there will be wars and rumors of wars and so many pestilences, but that is not the end of the world. And he mentioned in verse 14, Matthew 24, that, and this gospel shall be preached throughout the world as a witness or as a testimony then the end will come so jesus has commissioned the church to focus in these last days on preaching the word and that we can do by friendship evangelism so even with the lockdown or no lockdown we have friends we have family members we have workmates and i can even say that jesus has proved himself real even in friendship evangelism and I know he can do the same for you. So thank you for listening, and I pray that somebody somewhere will be touched by this testimony to continue even to witness for Jesus Christ. And if you haven't started, you will start, because the Holy Spirit will bring conviction. When you do your part, just share the word, and God will do the rest of conviction. Thank you very much. God bless you. We thank God He gives every one of us all sorts of opportunities to serve Him and spread the good news of Jesus. But now my husband is going to talk about So how you can receive Jesus Christ even right now. First, admit your need. I am a sinner. Secondly, be willing to turn from your sins. That is repentance. And thirdly, believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross and rose from the grave. And finally, through prayer, invite Jesus Christ to come in and control your life through the Holy Spirit as your Lord and Savior. And how to pray to accept Jesus Christ into your life. You can pray with me this prayer and Jesus Christ will come into your life just as he came into my life as a teenager. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and need your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins. I want to turn from my sins. I now invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. You can note today's date and also sign even somewhere to remember this important decision you have made. Now there are further resources on, for growth as a Christian, which are also available on YouTube. Becoming a Christian, God's promises for you, water baptism, baptism with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, into church membership, sharing the good news. For more information on prayer and evangelism, you are invited to contact prayer at ecc.org.uk. God bless you and thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. Even as you share this video with your friends and family. God bless you.